Nearly every property of every cell in every organism is defined by its genes. Genes are segments of DNA, and DNA can be thought of as an instruction manual. Your genes are inherited from your parents, and a mixture of their genes makes up your genome, or the complete set of genes present in an organism. Through breeding and artificial selection, humans have been selecting for particular traits or genes in domestic animals and plants for thousands of years. However, this method is extremely inefficient and is often limited by the natural variation in a species. Every time that you want to add a trait to, say, a tomato, you would breed two varieties, each carrying a different subset of the desired traits and hope for the right combination in one of the offspring. Perhaps combining two traits wouldn't be all that difficult. However, the chances of a plant offspring having multiple new desired traits and nothing else is next to zero. Each generation takes significant amounts of time to grow and reproduce, so this process is often very tedious. Gene editing is a more recent advancement that allows for more intentional and accurate changes in the instruction manual or genome, and consequently, in the organism's characteristics. So now, if I know which genes are responsible for making a tomato redder and larger, I can simply change the instruction manual directly, and thus bring these traits to the tomato plant. Perhaps the most popular method of gene editing is known as CRISPR-Cas9. While it wasn't named CRISPR because it makes genes crispier, it certainly could be used to edit a plant's genome so that its roots, which we would consume as carrots or radish, would be crispier. Interestingly, CRISPR was not invented, but rather discovered, by trying to figure out how things work. CRISPR is an integral part of a natural process, normally used by bacteria as an immune system to protect themselves against viruses that scientists have utilized in order to edit the genetic code of organisms. Basically, the process has three parts. First, the guide RNA is essentially responsible for recognizing which segment of DNA should be edited. This is analogous to searching for a particular word that you want to change in a large document. Next, a Cas9 protein that is bound to the guide RNA cuts the defined sequence of DNA. This is like deleting the word that was just found. Finally, template DNA is used to guide the rebuilding process of the cut segment to eventually contain the new DNA sequence that scientists want. This is like writing a new word where the old word once stood. There are actually multiple ways of editing genomes with CRISPR, but for this video, this method will suffice. Possibilities with such genome editing technologies are endless, from making crispier carrots to curing genetic diseases. However, even the smartest scientists cannot know all the answers to ethical questions pertaining to the modification of genomes. For example, when is it ethical to use such a technology on humans? What is certain is that genome editing will change the world forever.